So you've had LASIK or you're preparing for your surgery and you're wondering what the recovery is gonna look like. You might have questions like, can I shower, wear my makeup, go to work, work out? In today's video, I'll tell you what to expect in the first few hours, days, and weeks following your vision correction surgery. Welcome to Eye School with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. Welcome to iSchool. I'm your host, Dr. D. The theme of iSchool is lifelong eye education, so I always invite you to let me know what you're learning and request videos about new topics. If you find this video informative, consider hitting the thumbs up because that's what helps YouTube know that this video is helpful. All right, iSchool pupils, let's take a look at today's topic, LASIK recovery. So you've already decided to have LASIK or you're watching this video in the car on your way home from surgery. So no matter where you happen to be in your LASIK recovery journey, I'll try to cover it today and organize it into chapters so you can find the section most applicable to you. So let's go over what you've gotten yourself into. In the first few hours after LASIK, you're gonna want to rest up. Your surgeon might provide you with a clear eye shield and you should wear that immediately following your surgery and for the first potentially couple of days. The best thing to do at this time is to just go home, take a nap, and immediately after surgery, it's pretty normal to feel some stinging or burning of your eyes. You might have some mild discomfort or pain, as well as a little bit of blurry or hazy vision and glare and halos around lights. You might also even notice redness on the white part of your eye. Visual expectations during the first few hours, many of my patients report being able to see well even right after their surgery. But don't be alarmed if your vision is still slightly blurred or you notice halos around lights at this point. As far as medications and drops you'll be using in the first couple hours, your ophthalmologist or surgeon will prescribe antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, and often will recommend re-wetting drops as well. I'm partial to preservative-free artificial tears. You can use those as much as you need as you heal. In terms of things to avoid, this is the time to avoid physical exertion. Definitely skip the workouts those first few days. Um, time on computers should be limited as well. Really, you should just be laying low, taking a nap, taking it easy on yourself the first couple of hours. You'll want to make sure you have someone available to drive you home that day as well. Now in the first few days, it is probably best to take a couple of days off of work, depending on what your job duties actually entail. In the first 24 to 48 hours after surgery, expect to have a follow-up with your surgeon. And make sure to continue to use all the prescribed drops, which should be an antibiotic and a steroid, as your surgeon recommended you to do. Make sure to sleep with those eye shields if your surgeon has advised you to. In the first few weeks, your vision is going to steadily improve. Night driving should be getting better and better all the time, and you should still continue to use all the drops as directed and make sure to return to your post-ops. Now, your post-ops could be with your surgeon or they may be with the optometrist or ophthalmologist who referred you to your LASIK surgeon. So depending on your situation, just make sure you follow up for your post-ops with whoever they are scheduled with. During those first few weeks, you can go back to regular activity, but you want to avoid contact sports to minimize the risk of getting poked in the eye and therefore the flap from your LASIK becoming dislodged and causing a problem. Now the first month, some mild dryness is normal. Using artificial tears is critical if you are having dryness of your eyes. During that first month, you'll start to be tapering off of your drops at the direction of your doctor. During this time, it's important to report any changes you have in your vision, keep all of your follow-up appointments, and during this time, you should still continue to avoid swimming, hot tubs and exposure to dust and smoke. You wanna keep soap and chemicals away from your eyes within reason. You definitely can restart washing your face, washing your hair, taking a shower normally um, after about the first few days typically, but you wanna keep things from getting directly into your eye because your eyes may still be a bit irritated and additional soap and chemicals will only make that worse. You also want to avoid eye makeup and eye creams, 
probably for the first several weeks just to be very conservative. And you wanna take frequent, frequent breaks from digital screens to rest your eyes. Ongoing, so longer term care for LASIK, continue to return for yearly exams, even if your vision is absolutely perfect and you don't need any glasses. Your eye doctor will still want to look in the back of your eye and also examine your LASIK scar and just make sure that nothing adverse is occurring. If you have a slight change in your prescription, your doctor might advise distance only night driving glasses. This is something that happens very frequently for my patients who've had LASIK. They might end up a couple of years later with just a small prescription that only affects them when driving at night. And so in that case, you might be a good candidate for having just night driving glasses to help make things more sharp while you're driving at night. Small prescriptions after LASIK are normal and often do not require glasses. In some cases, if your vision changes enough, your doctor might recommend a touch-up LASIK procedure. It's also important to remember that at some point in your 40s, you will start to lose your near vision. This is called presbyopia and I made an entire video about it, which I will link above. It depends on the person, but most people do need reading glasses between the age of 40 to 50. So don't be surprised if you start having some trouble up close. Long term, you're gonna to wanna to continue to wear eye protection even years after LASIK if you're doing any high risk activities. So I'm gonna give you an example of this. As a student, um, I trained at Duke Eye Center. That was where one of my externships was. And at Duke, I saw a patient who was golfing 20, over 20 years after having had LASIK. He was hitting his ball out of a sand trap and wayward sand um, came at with high force and hit his cornea and actually made its way under his LASIK flap. And due to that sand being under the flap, a fungal infection began because there was a um, a fungal microorganism on the sand and he had a major fungal infection in his cornea 20 years after LASIK from sand getting under the flap. Now complications like this are extremely rare but I bring it up because they do happen. So I would just recommend being aware, wearing sunglasses, wearing some sort of eye protection to keep errant sand, dust, particles out of the eyes. Remember, there are always exceptions, and the horror story above is just that. In my 12 years of practice, 99.9% .9 of my patients say LASIK is the best thing they've ever done, and they're thrilled with the results. Keep in mind that LASIK recovery time can vary depending on factors like your vision prescription, your health history, and your overall health status. Your eye doctor will give you specific post-surgery instructions and a recovery plan, and it's important to follow those. Be sure to contact your eye doctor immediately if you experience any new or worsening symptoms after your LASIK eye surgery. Once your eyes have healed completely from LASIK and you've completed your post-op care, remember to maintain healthy vision by scheduling annual eye exams. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Remember, learning is lifelong, so make sure to stay tuned into the future by hitting that subscribe button down below. That's it for today. I will see you next time.